Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will consider a number of hardware items needed to form a local area network and the hardware needed to form a wide area network. Uh, please note the concept of uh, wireless LAN and the hardware needed to support it have been covered uh, already, but we can discuss a little in this lecture as well. Secondly, the hardware items hub and get, gateway have been included in this section to complete the picture. However, knowledge of these two items is not uh, required by the slippers. So, so let us start. So we will be discussing different hardwares, namely hub, switch, repeater, bridge, router, gateway, modems and network interfacing card NIC. So let us start with hub. Hub are hardware devices that can have a number of devices or uh, computers connected to them. Uh, they are often used to connect a number of devices to form a local area network, for example, a star network. A hub's main task is to take uh, any data packet, a group of data being transmitted, received at one of its ports, and then send the data to every computer in the network. Using hubs is not a very secure method of data distribution and is also wasteful of bandwidth. Note that hubs can be wired or wireless devices. Switch. Switches are similar to hubs but are more efficient in the way they distribute the data packets. As with hubs, they connect a number of devices or computers together to form a local area network, for example, a star network. However, unlike hub, the switch checks the data packets received and works on its destination address or addresses and sends the data to the appropriate computer or computers only. This makes using a switch a more secure and efficient way of distributing data. Each device or computer on a network has a media access control address, MAC address, which identifies it uniquely. Data packets sent to switches will have a MAC address identifying the source of the data and additional addresses identifying each device which uh, should receive the data. Note that switches can be wired or wireless again. Remember that we are discussing local area networks. So instead of uh, IP address, I discussed about media access control address. Repeater. When signals are sent over long distances, they suffer attenuation or signal loss. Repeaters are devices which are added uh, to transmission system to boost the signal to it uh, can travel greater distances. They amplify signals on both analog like copper cable and digital like fiber optic cables communication links. Repeaters can also be used uh, on wireless systems. These are used to boost signals to prevent any dead spots in the Wi-Fi zone. Each device plug into electric wall socket and send out booster signals. Uh, there are commonly uh, Wi-Fi enhancers available in the market. You can always have them at your home if your Wi-Fi signals at any particular point gets weak we can always use Wi-Fi enhancer. Uh, they are termed non-logical devices because they will boost all signals which have been detected. They are not selective. Sometimes hub contains repeaters and are known as repeating hubs. All signals fed to the hub are boosted before being sent to all devices in the network, thus increasing the operational range. There are two main uh, drawbacks of repeating hubs. They have only one collision domain when the signals are boosted and then broadcast 
to devices, any collision which might occur are not resolved there and then. One way to deal with this problem is to make use of jamming signals. When this manages, uh, while this manages the collision, it also reduces network performance since it involves repeated broadcast as the collisions are resolved. Number two, uh, the devices are referred to as unmanaged since they are unable to manage delivery paths and also security in the network. Bridge. Bridges are devices that connect one line to another that uses the same protocol, communication rules. Protocols are communication rules. So it is necessary that bridge is connecting to different same sort of networks. They are often used to connect together different parts of a LAN so that they can function as a single LAN. Bridges are used to interconnect LANs or part of the LANs since sending out every data packet to all possible destinations would quickly flood larger networks with unnecessary traffic. For this reason, a router is used to communicate with the other networks such as internet. Note that bridges can be wired or wireless devices. Famous router. Routers enable data packets to be routed uh, between the different networks, for example, to join a LAN to a WAN. The router takes uh, data transmitted in one format from a network which is using a particular protocol and converts the data to a protocol and format understood by another network, thereby allowing them to communicate via the router. So that's why we can say that uh, bridges connect the same networks and routers uh, may connect different sort of networks. We can therefore summarize the role of routers as restrict broadcast to a LAN, act as a default gateway, can perform protocol translation, for example, allowing a wired network to communicate with a wireless Wi-Fi network. That actually happens with all the routers at our home, which are called wireless access points. Uh, DSL cable gets into those routers and those routers then enable us all family members to access internet over their uh, mobile devices. The router can take ethernet data packets, remove the ethernet part and put the IP address into a frame recognized by the wireless protocol. In other words, it is performing a protocol conversion. We will discuss about ethernet and local area network uh, when we will discuss local area network, ethernet and CSMACD. While a uh, router can move data between different networks, can calculate the best route to a network destination address as well. Uh, broadband routers sit behind a firewall. A firewall protects the computers on a network. The router's main function is to transmit internet and transmission protocols between two networks and allow private networks to be connected. So the whole internet uh, is actually depending on the routers nowadays. So it is a fact that routers enable the internet. The routers uh, inspects the data package sent to it from any computer on the networks connected to it. Since every computer on the same network has the same part of an internet protocol address or IP address, the router is able to send the data packets to the appropriate switch and it will then be delivered using the MAC, Media Access Control, Destination Address, if the MAC address does not match any device on the network, it passes on to another switch on the same network until the appropriate device is found. Routers can be wired or wireless. Remember, routers enable the internet. Gateways. A gateway is a network uh, point or node that acts as an entrance to another network. Remember, gateways are always found at the end of the networks because they mostly connect to different types of networks. So gateway is a network point or node that acts as an entrance to another network. It is a key point for data on its way to and from other networks. It can be used to connect two or more dissimilar or 
different local area networks like local area networks using different protocols the gateway converts data packets from one protocol to another gateway can also act as routers firewalls or servers in other words any device that allows traffic to flow in and out of the networks it is gateway gateways can be wired or wireless devices all networks have boundaries so that all communications within the network is conducted using devices such as switches or routers if network node need to communicate outside its network then it needs to use a gateway modems modems uh, computer uh, devices are uh, now very important with uh, fiber optic networks and they used to be very important when there was dial up connections ancient dial up connection for internet so modern computers work with digital data whereas many of the public communication channels like pstn public switch telephone networks telephone networks or plain old plain old telephone networks uh, is still uh, only allow analog data to transmit to allow the transmission of digital data over the analog communication channels we need to use a modem modem is an abbreviation of modulator and demodulator this device converts digital data to analog data and vice versa it also does the reverse and converts data received over the analog network into digital data which can be understood by the uh, computer so need to understand that um, if two computers have no direct connection and a home uh, has uh, analog landline they both can be connected using a modem that used to be the case when internet bandwidth was uh, not available through dsl lines rather people used to call to their isps using modems and get connected to internet and during the uh, time when the internet was connected the line remained uh, engaged since uh, modems used the same channels as we use when we talk over landlines wireless modems transmit data in a modulated form to allow several simultaneous wireless communic uh, communications to take place without interfering with each other so they use the same method that we use when we talk a modem will connect to the public infrastructure cable telephone fiber optics or satellites and will supply the user with the standard ethernet output which allows connections to a router thus enabling an internet connection to occur while the uh, router will allow the creation of a network in a home for example the uh, for example the modem allows for the connection of the external networks for example the internet routers and modems can be combined into one unit these devices have the electronics and software to provide both router and modem functions another example of modem is soft modem yeah software modem which uses uh, minimal hardware and uses software that runs on the host computer the computer's res, uh, resources mainly the processor and ram replace the hardware of the conventional modem so we need to uh, pay attention to these now network interface card this thing will lead to next lecture which is ethernet so be very mindful about it a network interface card or nic is needed to allow a device to connect uh, a network such as internet it is usually part of the device hardware and frequently contains the mac address generated at the manufacturing uh, manufacturing stage every device which is either wirelessly or in wired way connected to a network requires network interface card without this card tcp ip protocols cannot be applied without this card no device will ever be able to connect to the internet no matter what so a network uh, interface uh, card or nic is a hardware component without which a computer cannot be connected over a network 
it is a circuit board installed in the computer that provides a dedicated network connection to the computer. It is also called network interface controller or network adapter or LAN adapter. Purpose, NIC allows both wired and wireless communications. NIC allows communication uh, between computers connected where local area network as well as communication over large scale network through internet protocol. NIC is both physical layer and data link layer device. Uh, if you have uh, any knowledge of it, that is good. Otherwise you may watch TCP IP uh, protocol lecture. So it is both physical layer and data link layer device. It provides the necessary hardware circuitry so that the physical layer uh, processes uh, and some data link layer processes can run uh, on it. Uh, there are two types of NIC cards, internal network cards and external network cards. Internal network cards uh, uh, are, the, uh, are those which are uh, has slots for the network card where it can be inserted. So these are external, we apply them in PCI slots and then they work. It requires network cables to uh, provide network access. Internal network cards are of two types. The first type uses a peripheral component interconnect connection, which is called PCI port, while the second uses the industry standard architecture or ISA. External network cards in desktop and laptops that do not have an internal NIC, external NICs are used. External network cards are of two types, wireless and USB based. Wireless network cards need to be inserted on the motherboard in the PCI slot. However, no network cable is required to connect to the network. They are useful while traveling or accessing wireless signals. Sometimes those computers which do not have uh, 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 Wi-Fi ability, we use uh, network interface external cards over there. So, thank you very much.